Lie down. Wait. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going out to work and we're going to be experiencing what it's like to live a day in the life of a farmer. So uh, we've got to do our work today and also one of my work colleagues are off so we've got all three farms to go around this morning. So let's get into the video guys. And remember, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave us a comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Okay guys, before we get into this video, I'm just going to quickly feed the dogs. Oh no, the bin's empty. Oh no, whatever will I do? This is what keeps my dogs in the best condition. Dr. John's Gold by Gilbertson and Page. And you can now get 15% off your first two bags of dog food if you order directly from www.gilpa.co.uk and use the promo code GOLD150. That's GOLD150. I have three full ranges of dog food and they even have cat food and ferret food so head over there and check it out. And you can hear everybody's making a lot of noise right now, they weren't fed so I'm just going to go on and do that and then I'll talk to you guys. So there we go guys, that's a bit quieter now. So on this side we've got 27 Altenborn Bullocks and they've been up the back of this farm uh, at the end of the summer there. And then on this side, what we've got is about uh, about 28 uh, calves that were born in the spring, born in March. So these were just weaned off their mothers the other week. And they're about six, seven, maybe the oldest will be about eight months, but they're about six to eight months old. And if you look closely at them all, you'll see that they've all got their back shaven in the middle and the front of their face is shaven. So that is to open up the hair and let them cool down so they can adjust better to being inside. Because if they can't cool down, they start to sweat and the air in the shed becomes thick and muggy and that can cause pneumonia. So just by opening up the back there helps them regulate their temperature and keeps them nice and cool and keeps them uh, helps them adjust to being inside as well. And so guys, while these guys finish up the odd lib feeding I gave them, we're going to go around and see the other uh, animals outside in this farm. Then we're going to come back here and feed these guys their silage.
Okay, so we've just fed the tops or the rams, the male sheep, and then went down to feed some lambs as well. So we're gonna head up here next, and what we've got here, we've got right at the gate here, we've got 10 heifers and two smaller bullocks, which never made it to sale this year. So these heifers, they'll be breeding uh, in a couple of months, really. These guys will be going to the bull. Uh, so a heifer is a, a young cow who hasn't had a calf yet. And then we've also got a group of yow lambs to go and see while we're up here. And then cross over to the other field and we're going to see some gimmers and my sheep are there as well. And you'll notice as we're going around here, the ground is still pretty wet. So we had those videos about those floods. And then uh, we had another weather warning just throughout the week there. Uh, I didn't make a video about it because, well, at this point I'm in danger of becoming a weather channel. <laughs> but yeah. As soon as the, the drown, ground starts to drain, it just floods again and we get more heavy rain and another weather front moving in, so everything's pretty wet. This is probably the wettest October I've seen. But anyway guys, let's head up and check around these outside and get back and then we'll feed those young cattle the silage. Okay guys, so that is just 10 a.m. now, so I'm gonna head in, get my coffee, and then me and Echo are gonna head up to the other farm to do the stuff we need to do around there. Hmm. So guys, that's me up at the other farm. So behind me here are the last of the autumn cows to carve. And this calf here was just born last night, and that's its mother there. Hearts worth falling for. Oh, and with open arms, I'll carry you. So guys, first stop on the way around, we're going to feed those sheep up there, just in this feeder here. And as you've seen, the weather is terrible today, but keeping me dry, I've got my Ridgeline fleecy hoodie on. I've got on my Ridgeline overalls. And then underneath that, we have our Sean the Sheepman hoodie, of course. 